Hail, and well met. <laughs> What's up, the world? It's your friendly neighborhood subgator here. I've never really done this before. This whole thing where you see me and this thing. What up? You're up there. Anyway, I'm starting a, a new series. I've been playing this uh, mod. Um, what's it? A mod? It is a mod. It's called Dungeon Realms, anyway, and it's very much like an MMORPG for Minecraft, so it's pretty cool. Um, these episodes are going to be a little bit different. It's one of those things where I just kind of do some recording, hanging out with friends, and I'll put it up for you guys to check out. Uh, let me know what you think about it. Um, if I continue it or not, probably it's going to be based on likes and comments and stuff like that. I'll probably end up doing it anyway just because it's fun. Whenever I have time, I'm going to go ahead and, and play a little Dungeon Realms when I'm not Sliptopia, in Sliptopia or in Hypermind or something like that. So uh, this is the first episode. I hope you guys like it, and have a great rest of your day here you see all your stats you got armor which is how much defense you have and you got uh, uh, you got what you call you got food and you got to eat to make that regen right and oh, and he's talking to me you also got uh, um, food to make sure <laughs> you're trying to kill him <laughs> yeah man it's like the most annoying thing ever <laughs> Um, you got... Now he's on your head. <laughs> oh my god, die. <laughs> you can't kill it. <laughs> um, you got your... That green meter, which is your stamina. Okay. So if you run, it'll like, uh, it'll reduce as you go. If you fight, it'll also reduce as you go. And the more you do it, the, the further it'll go down. When you run out, it'll start making a sound. Meaning that you're not really doing any damage with your swings anymore. So, timed hitting uh, is actually more effective than just spam clicking, unless you just do it in bursts. Because um, right. if you're swinging at nothing, it's it's not gonna do any good. The 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 best way to train you is probably just get you to fight a little bit. Okay. Let me give you um, a few pieces of armor. I'll show you how the trade works too. Um, simply throw something at. Just stay still, boy. Um, <laughs> when I throw something at you, you see how it opens up this window? Yep. So you got um, two, looks like gray wool dies in right. the corners, and you can click to accept the trade. So I'm also going to throw this in here. And basically, all you do is just click the accept button, and you have them in your inventory now. And Whoa. you can put those on, and they're going to adjust your stats. Now, your level. It, the, where you normally it shows your level that's actually your hit points okay. and the heart meter is just a percentage of those hit points so mm -hmm. I usually watch the number the hearts are a good indication but for the most part you just want to make sure that, that you run away from a fight while you still have energy before you start losing too much life because like, like I said you have a limited sprint amount that energy will go down and you'll be stopped being able to run and a mob can overtake you right. so let's just go out um, you might want to set uh, a minimap rune here. I need to do the same thing. Waypoints add, and I'm just gonna call this Serenica. Oh, I can't even remember what's the waypoint. Um, it's just M. It's raise minimap, and then we'll hit waypoints, and then we will add and one, add, mm -hmm. and we'll call and just it. Name, you can name it. Uh, the city name is Serenica. Spawn. Good to go uh, there. Bone work. All right, there it is. And yep. See, so just uh, this is one of the ways out. There's a few different ways to the city, and there's some stuff I haven't even fully explored the city, mm -hmm. only because it's really big to get anything done. Um, the banks in there, but this camp that I work out of uh, has a bank and a shop all put together, and it's real easy access. Plus some chests spawn over there, and it's great for noobs. Cool. Which I'm still a noob. Uh, there's also a merchant, so when you you can sell your stuff, you loot to him for Whoa. scraps to repair your stuff. They're all uh, just guards, NPC guards. He's like a bird, looking. Guy. I don't know. It's weird. I think they're all the devs. Like all the developers have like their um, NPC versions of themselves in here. Okay. This we're, we're heading to a place called Harrison Fields. So and it's um, can we man? can we kill this cow? Yeah, kill it. That's right. Uh, 
But, uh, so uh, the cow doesn't drop. Uh, is it a lower drop rate for steak or? Uh, they don't drop anything from what I know. Oh, uh, okay. And I would typically avoid sprinting unless you know you have excess food, or oh, unless okay. you get away from something because uh, your your food your hunger doesn't regenerate unless you're in the big city, and it's far away from any action. Okay. Are there like cars? Because this is a long walk. <laughs> no, but there are teleport scrolls that just they just start. You saw that yellow message that just popped up. Yeah. Down the great plains of Serene, it it tells you what kind of zone you're in. Mm -hmm. So you're no longer in a safe zone. You can't. That mob mobs are alive around here. They can't attack like you see one over there. Optifine helps a lot too if you don't have it already. Um, and, and there are, it, but you can't be PVP'd. Right. But when you when you walk into a zone, sometimes it'll make that same sound, and it's red, and it'll say you're in a chaos zone. Yeah, I saw that in one of your previous vids. <laughs> so these guys, am I? They're not like really that, dropping dude. anything. Are they? Am I getting XP and stuff from that? Well, no, there's no XP. It's gear based only for stats. So um, you'll kill a lot more than you actually. Oh, hold on a second, bud. <laughs> Okay, back. Okay. All right. I may have just done something dumb. I found chests and I took everything out and they disappeared. Do you know well, that you're supposed to do that? Okay, I didn't know if people left like an item in and they respawned items and you farmed them or something. That's correct. They do respawn items. So oh. you basically just have to always be on the lookout. You see, there's one over there. Typically, when, when I see it, that's what I use sprint for. Yeah. <laughs> there's only a potion in that one. I don't even want that. Um, if you do, though, you can just throw it out like that and just let the chest respawn. Because they'll sometimes it's better than the, the potions and stuff. Okay. Uh, and you'll start to learn where some of the, the, um, the chests are. Like, there's always a couple in the field here. You can see one in the middle over there and one near the windmill. Mm -hmm. And I just work chests. <laughs> That's basically what I do, just kind of grind. Um, and you know just up your gear whoa is that a mob in all enchanted armor kicking that guy's butt yep <laughs> ooh I got we... I got? got gems six gems yep that's money ah uh, oh okay that's the currency oh whoa what up player <laughs> some arrows I think we can probably get up here. Oh yeah, you can get. Up. Oh, look at all this stuff, here, man! Teleport scroll. There you go. I don't know what that is. I want. Oh, more gems. Okay. There you go. You got a hat? Yeah. No, no cap. Nope. I got a hat for you. I just picked one up. Oh, I just took fall damage. That's awesome. Oh, you're currently in combat. Let me throw it on the floor for you. There you go. Nice. So we should duel then, I guess. Ouch. <laughs> you want to duel? <laughs> you probably. I'm assuming you kicked my butt. I would 
Frolic Q, yes. I have 617 hit points. Oh, wow. <laughs> You've only been playing for like a couple of days, right? Well, I got some great pants. I got some great pants? <laughs> <laughs> I got great pants. They are Levi's. You got no any wonder. mushrooms too? Nope. Here you go. So now it would be like if I'm down a few hearts or down a few haunches, pardon me, I probably want to eat. Yeah, you should some. eat. Right. And I haven't seen that you could reuse bowls. So I just usually throw them out. Oh, so now I got. Now is everything's got durability, so can it be repaired? Uh, yes, it can. Um, you can get scraps and repair them. Basically, all of your um, all of the pieces of warmer, like I just saw that you get a hat, got a hat a second ago. So you can look at the, that those hats, find the best out of the two, put the best on, and when you get to the merchant, you can sell it, and he gives you some scraps of the next tier. What you're wearing right now is leather, which is tier one. Chain right. is tier two. Iron is tier three. Diamond is tier four. Gold is tier five, which is hasn't been released yet. Okay. Uh, cool. And you can trade those scraps in for scraps of a lower tier, just more of them. So it allows you to repair your armor and weapons. It's You can also repair them on an anvil just to exchange it, the repair service for money, but it's much more expensive. But scraps only repair one at a time, I think. Whoa, what are you doing, buddy? Are they spawning here? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, they're, like, falling out of the sky. Oh. Yep. Empty, broken house. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of ruins around and stuff. So let's head over to the merchant. I'll show you how that works. All right, cool. So I got a hat now. I got, I got mending leather coif of treasure. Uh, I think you gave me a mending leather coif, but this uh, this one I found is the is, treasure better. Yeah, cool. it's, it's better, it. but the durability is really low. I don't want to. I don't want to break it. Ah, uh, you don't want to break it. You want to be able to repair it. Okay. Plus, the leggings you gave me are like on their uh, on their last legs. <laughs> yeah, a lot of the uh, <laughs> <laughs> a lot of the stuff that you'll find is very very low durability. Um, some of the stuff it's it's worth not even putting on until you can get to repair it too if it's that much of an upgrade right or like these pants I'll probably get those off because i'm worried oh whoa whoa that's ammonia it's a muppet <laughs> he's got they look like i would assume is that a boss that spawns there is that the guy like a uh yeah yeah the, it is harder it's you know you can visibly see when something's better armored than than others yeah um and then just the type of mob it is like in the woods where i've been fighting there's some wither skeletons and uh those things are pretty bad but if something's in full chain like, avoid it you know <laughs> right. if it looks if it looks stronger than you it probably is <laughs> It's a good rule of thumb. So now they're on our way back to the town. Can we kind of just sprint because we will regain health when we're no, there? No, because we're not going all the way to Serenica. We're going to uh, Heritage Fuels Merchant, which you should also mark. All right, all right. I'm trying to and it, it's also a safe zone, so you don't get hurt. So around here, there's a few chests that spawn too. You just got to be on the lookout for them. A lot of players put their uh, chest right here that you can shop at. Mm -hmm. And there's uh, a little dungeon that spawns a few chests down there as well with a couple of fights you can get. So it's a good area to just hang out. Um, this guy here is who you can trade your scraps to. So let's see here. I'll give you an example. What's that this place you can. called? Um, Harrison Field. So you can open up your chat window and it'll show you like um, the yellow messages or whatever where you're at. I see. Yep, yep. So you got any scrap equipment to get rid of? Um... Mm. I could get rid of the one mending coif. 
and like pump that into the other one, I guess. Yeah, that's that's what I'd do. So get rid of right click on the merchant mm -hmm. and then put your or that coif in the left window. In the left window, okay. Uh huh. And then click to accept trade because it, it should show on the right too, like some metal fence. Yep. Okay, go ahead and do that. Got it. And now put the metal fence in the window to trade to him and you'll get some leather scrap. Uh, so every time you sell your oh. stuff, you'll get, um, you have to type cancel if you don't want to repair it on your anvil. When you right click it, you just press T to talk and then N or Y, of course, to, to accept it. There you go. All right, so this is really weird. Um, the interface is a little odd. Yeah, <laughs> it is, but they're working with vanilla, so. Right, right on. So you right click the anvil, your thing starts to float. Right, and it's saying if you want to repair, you can, and it costs you this much money. But can I just okay. use the leather scraps? Yes, you don't want to use the anvil to do that, so just go ahead and click no. Okay. Now open your inventory screen, and while your leather, while the the coif is in your inventory, not on your person, mm -hmm. go ahead and drop the, um, go ahead and, and pick up the uh, the leather scraps and just click right on top of the the thing that you want to repair. And that's oh. it. Oh wow, it barely got any repair. Like it's only it's only one percent. Oh man. But as you can see, it pays to get like a billion of those scraps. You constantly turn it in stuff to passively repair your gear. Now you can also sell the scraps in a player chest like they have here that are labeled. And some people buy them for a few gold a piece. It, it really all depends on what you're selling and how rare it is and who runs across it. Damn baby is there zombie. A goddamn yeah. zombie on my head. Yeah. You just um, get out of ring. Punch it's... it in the face. <laughs> um well all right, that's kind of a bummer because I got a bunch of armor now that I, I really probably shouldn't wear. But it, it sounds like it's almost impossible to effectively repair it. Like, no, it's just it. It's long. Typically, what'll happen is the the object behind the upgrades too. You know, chances are by the time you um, you'll break some pieces, but they're just scraps as it is. You know, so okay. they'll get better and better as you hunt, and you'll yeah. just upgrade when you. Sometimes you'll get excessive loot and you can really repair some stuff like it's sometimes I'll come back from a little hall and I'll have 20 or 30 scraps on me after right. I'm the merchant, you know. All right, cool. So let's see. I'm trying to get my bearings here. Don't duel that guy if he's trying to. Uh, oh. I've seen him a few times before. He's uh, he tried to duel me a couple times, just like randomly. I don't know, he's some dude. Yeah. Plus, got freaking uh, iron on. Yeah, he looks bored. He's like, <laughs> like. <laughs> it's funny because the game, even though it's a, you know, you know, it's like Minecraft, like nothing changes. He's some OP like squeaker hanging out in the starter village, just like <laughs> dueling newbies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One duel, yeah. me? <laughs> <laughs> no, dude. You're gonna waste me. Oh, yeah. bam. And I got some serious. I got an advantage of a few times when I got in here. So, um, like one guy invited me into his house, and I went into his house. Oh, by the way, check <laughs> this out. <laughs> oh, what up? Whoa. This is your own personal house. You can right-click your star on the ground and open that portal. Now, when you go in, it's a chaos zone, okay? So, it, PvP is enabled. But you can build your own places there and set up player-run shops. And also, you can place chests in there that you find and collect items. So, that's pretty cool. They also produce light if you're having trouble seeing. <laughs> okay. I'm done. <laughs> All right, so let's see. I think 
going this way would probably be okay. All right. Like I said, I lost all of my little, uh, yeah, there's a little group of bandits that we can fight over here. Just want to avoid going too deep because you are not well equipped. But right, there's we'll get them one at a time. They call for help. And when all else fails, run. It works. <laughs> we got him. We got him, man. And there's some chests. Get some, some bread and uh, like a regular health potion. There you go. They nerfed it for a little while. You could trade in health potions for scraps. Yeah, that'd be nice. Some meat. Here, take that. Give me that meat. Now, does the hunger system work exactly the same as it does in Minecraft, where when you overeat, you don't lose that food? Uh, that I don't know. Okay. I haven't explored that far enough yet. Let's find out. <laughs> see a guy in chain over here. Let me see if I can pull him, actually. You got a bow? Yeah. Oh, I look at that. Bow, but... Now, do you have stats that you can, like, level up and stuff, or... Oh, he got a bow, too. Mm -hmm. uh, he'll come sooner or later. Oh. No, all of your stats are equipment-driven. Oh, okay, so... Oh, I'm out of stuff and things. I got no stamina's. There you go. Wow. Good lord. I think you got it, sir. Here, put that on. <laughs> Dude! <laughs> you little bastard. Yay! Um. You look ballerific now, D. I like the booth of the chain. Yeah, I could be wearing all... I might as well just wear it all and whatever happens, happens. I got 205 hit points now. Mm -hmm. um, are, there you go. Is, are um, you ready? I don't know. I think I might want to repair this hat. I'm a little worried about losing all my... I'm one of those guys when I play MMOs where I save and save and save. Orbs are round things, like a circle. Three dimensional. Okay, that wasn't too hard. Let's try to pull another one. I got him. Bring it oh. on, homie. Oh, Jim Chain. Just landed on my face. Oh. Oh, oh, I'm in deep shit. Deep oh shit. Deep shit. See when they get when you get too far away. Oh shit! Run away, dude. The lag is preventing me from. Yeah, uh, your healing potions are auto feed too, so don't be afraid to start chugging them in battle. Yeah, that's what I've been doing. Whew. Yeah, <laughs> and you regen pretty fast. Like, um, go ahead and right click while you're holding your character journal. It'll show you your stats, like oh, your armor, your DPS, your hit points, how much your energy. Um, HPS is 47 hit points per well hit points per second. Okay. Like mine's 47, so that's your regenerate that when you're not fighting. Okay. Cool. So, yeah, I want to get some stuff to uh, get this damn stuff prepared, man. <laughs> I got a good hat. Chest up here. Cool. Smack. Chain uh -oh. guy. Uh oh. Oh, oh yeah. Teleport scrolls. Dark Oak Tavern. Now, do they work? Does the teleport scroll work forever or is it a single use? I think it's just a single use. Oh, I've okay. never seen Dark Oak Tavern before, though. Uh, I have one. That's interesting. Oh, cool. Careful. Oh, chain guy. High ground is really good, too. See, one at a time, they're not bad at all. Like, you can really just time licks. But when they start, when it starts lagging a little bit and they're jumping all around, it can get pretty crazy. 
God, that guy's got a lot of stuff. He's got a lot of hit points. Well, this is the way armor works too. If you look at your armor, like my my uh, um my armor percent on my pants, for instance, reads armor five dash six percent. So it gives me a 6% reduction of damage, but I, the minimum that can damage me is also 5, I think. So if something hits me for 2, I think it only does like 1 point of damage to me or something like that. Okay. Yeah, so there's like a minimum. It, it allows you to pretty much be invincible to things that are much less weak than you. Right on. Ooh. I think it, there's actually smarter AI in this mod. It seems like uh, the more damage you do, the uh, mob goes at. What the? Did you have knockback on or something? Yeah. Oh, cool. I had a poison axe, but I died. It was really good. But the knockback comes in handy for when I'm trying to run away every once in a while. It's only like 6%. It's real, real... Um, Real, real um, sporadic. Do you want to check this house out over here, man? Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Do you want to figure out how to hack in items in this mod or what? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is weird. I haven't lost any food. So, I think that uh, the food system does work the way it does in Minecraft, which is... Uh. There's kind of two food bars in Minecraft, really. There's uh, Right. It's, it's There's an overfull. Yeah. Oh, I'm in deep crap. Oh, God. Oh, there's bad guys everywhere. Oh, my God. Run away! Keep running. <laughs> I'm out of stamina, dude. Did he? Yeah, he teleported back because we got far enough away from him. Oh, he's coming again. Careful. We'll probably get him. I really wish that when you started, when you you can party with somebody, yeah, and you can see their stats, like a little um, health and stamina meter on top of their head, just small green and red line would be great, because it would kind of give you an indication of how much trouble somebody's in. Because I could see you get hit ten times and not know how hard it was. Right. Um. So when you pay the merchant to do your repair, does he repair your item in full? Yes. Oh, uh, okay. We might want to just... I might want to just pay to get some of the stuff repaired in full so I have, like, good gear to just use to start with, you know? I got 42 gems. I could probably get at least one piece of it fully repaired. Oh, I just lost you, brother. What up, player? Stupid internet. It's all good. Yo! So, yeah, what I was saying is... I'm. If I could get like when I add when I put this armor on, my stats go way up. When I take it off, it's mm -hmm. like, yep, you know, I'm rocking like a hundred hit points. When I put it on, like over two hundred. So, right, um, I'm I'm good to repair at least the the helmet. Okay. So I don't mind spending money on it. You could stash your emeralds in there too. 